So many of you know the digital anima, and many of you know Raven. But why does the digital anima have so many faces, and why is Raven such a popular face of the digital anima? So it's something that we've talked about quite a bit on this channel, which is the idea of the girl next door. The girl next door that never was. The girl next door that was her. She is the one that you grew up with. You grew up watching television instead of being outside and playing. And this is why your anima, your feminine archetypal image, was based on cartoons. And that is why she is able to dress up as anima. <laughs> Excuse me. See, I'm slipping already. My god, you know. When she dresses up as Raven, she is dressing up as your anima, and perhaps as I've just slipped as my own anima. When you are raised on cartoons, they are the thing that inform your soul image. And I would say you could attest, many of us here can attest that when these young men get with real women, they struggle. This is true. Rather than the quaint little cartoon character that they want, they are given a real live human being, which is far too difficult to deal with. So instead we go back to the cartoon character. We go back to the digital anima that is free and easy. But with a subscription on OnlyFans, you can heighten the digital anima influence. You can gain favor. You can court favor with your mommy, with your mommy GF. So if you want to understand the digital anima, sometimes you do need to get into close proximity, into the web, deeper and deeper, and it makes it all the better when one prances out, just like 